Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian, and today we're going to look at how to add listings to uh, the My Directory or My Listing actually theme. Uh, this is a test installation, Delray 2, at My Staging website, which is a pressable.com uh, staging site. So essentially, what we're going to do here is go through the process of adding listings so those of you who are watching this can know how to do it for yourselves all right so here is the uh landing page this is the home page of this particular directory again this is just a staging site so we're just going to play with this without any worry of messing anything up all right so the first thing we're going to do is let's go to add listing then we are going to choose either a place an event or rent. Place uh, is a standard business profile. Event is a event. It's pretty self-explanatory. And rent is any kind of real estate style listing. For this particular project, we're not going to be dealing too much with rent in the beginning, although that may change actually. But for the time being, we're just going to focus on these two. So let's add a place. And here is the screen that you now have in front of you. Uh, this is the submit a place form. Anything that's submitted in this area will end up behind the um, in the you know in the back end as a new listing. Everything is set to be approved by me, so nothing that's submitted here goes live just yet. You can change this on your directories. Or if you're working on our team, this is something that's going to be standard. So nothing that you do here is going to go live. So if you make a mistake, not a big deal. We'll sort it out behind the scenes. All right. So hopefully you'll be able to see this entire process. I'm going to be changing screens a little bit. And hopefully this makes sense if you're following along. All right. So I'm now going to change to this screen here, which I pulled up before. This is Delray Beach Sushi. It's a Google search. And essentially, I'm just going to be picking listings that are already in Google uh, and adding them to our directory. This is part of our marketing process. Basically, at this juncture, because this is not yet live, we are hand adding uh, you know, manually what I call seeding the site with listings. So let's just pick, I mean, there's a process that I typically do for this, but for demonstration, let's just pick one of them. So let's go to Yama. Here it is, Yama Japanese restaurant. Here are the reviews. Here's the address, the hours, the phone number. They don't have a website, which is something that we want to note from a marketing standpoint, because this business becomes a prime a candidate to be a web design client. So we can actually add these guys to our website and then after the fact, let them know, hey, you guys need a website. This is something that we do. You're on our directory already. So let's figure out how we can improve your online branding by virtue of giving you a real online presence. All right, but for the time being, we're just gonna add. Them. So first thing I'm gonna do, and again, this is kind of boring, but this is how we begin. I'm just going to paste that in. I'm then going to give them a little uh, catchy tagline. I'm going to say, great fresh sushi in, I can't spell, Delray Beach. All right. For description, typically what I do is I go to the website and I just take their own description. But because these guys don't have one, I'm going to show you a little trick. We're going to go to the Google reviews. And we're going to copy a review. All right. So this is seven months ago by some woman who's now being advertised to the world on this video. But the best sushi in Delray Beach, yada, yada, yada. That's what she said. All right. So I would typically change this. So it doesn't sound so much like a review. And it's also uh, original content, unique content that's not copied. So great sushi in Delray. A comfortable distance away 
from the and we're going to say they also have Korean and Thai really love this place and the waitstaff is friendly, fast, and really professional. Outdoor seating, really good when it all right. So there you go. So I just basically created a new description out of a Google review. And that's pretty, you know, that's pretty um, original content. I mean, that, so it's not duplicate content. It's not being lifted from the review itself, which is already, uh, you would imagine, indexed in Google. So this gives us a good description that is representative of what someone's real experience with this place was. And at the same time, um, it's pretty unique. Right. So it's, you know, this will pass any unique uh, filter for duplicate content. For those of, of you who don't know anything about duplicate content, don't worry about it. For those of you who are watching this, who are working for us, I will certainly explain this in more detail to you later. All right. Let's add a logo.